beautiful morning. It is still, there's not a breath of wind, there's not a cloud in the sky, the sun is just streaming, my plants are loving it. <laughs> and it seems like such a lovely day to spend sitting inside an orchestra pit <laughs> in an opera house, yay. So today is actually a work day for me, even though it's a Sunday, because I am partway through my trial for Principal Second with Christchurch Symphony, which is very cool. And this week we've been rehearsing for the Marriage of Figaro Opera with New Zealand Opera. And today is the big day of two back-to-back -back tech rehearsals before the dress rehearsal starts on Tuesday, which I'm really looking forward to. It's such beautiful music and it's so fun to play, but ugh, did it have to be on such a gorgeously sunny day? It's like. Like just after 10 o'clock now, I've um, just had a bit of a slower morning start. Washed my hair for the first time in too long. <laughs> I did quite a lot of housework yesterday, but today I just have to finish off a few things. Got to wash my bedding because it is a good day to try and do that. And I need to finish off editing a different video and then rehearsal starts at 1.30. Also, if you're wondering where Alex is, he is currently in Auckland. He had a performance with the New Zealand Symphony last night in Auckland. Um, so that's where he is this weekend, but he'll be back this afternoon, probably once I'm already at rehearsal, but it'll be good to see him. He's been away for a couple of days and I miss him. So if you've been watching my vlogs recently, you'll know that I mentioned a few weeks ago that Alex and I got a new mattress. Well, I'm very excited to announce that this portion of the video is sponsored by Winkle Mattresses. Smooth segue? I think so. And Winkle is a New Zealand owned and operated mattress company that aims to simplify the whole mattress buying process for their fellow Kiwis. So about six weeks ago, we had the mattress arrive at our door and it arrives in a box with little wheels on the bottom as well. So you can easily maneuver around your home and into the room that you want to put the mattress in. And they have super fast delivery, especially if you're in Auckland, you can order it before 1.30 p.m. and you'll have it delivered the same day. So it's very, very convenient. They have free shipping and free returns anywhere in New Zealand, including Stewart Island. And the best part is that they have a risk-free trial period of 120 days that's four months to try this mattress to sleep on it to see if it works for you and if for some reason it doesn't live up to your expectations you can send it back it's free returns Winkle will refund your money and then they'll actually donate the mattress to the Salvation Army so that the product isn't wasted which I think is so good because a lot of companies when you send something back for a return they'll actually destroy the product it's just so wasteful so I absolutely love that Winkle has this policy in place to ensure that any returned product isn't isn't going to landfill. Yep. mattress that Alex and I have been trying for the last six weeks is the Winkle Lux mattress in the queen size. It features a universal firmness that is typically suitable for the majority of sleepers. The mattress is made out of a high quality memory foam that is super comfortable, supportive, durable, helps to ensure zero partner disturbance, which is so useful if you wake up at a different time to your partner or go to bed at a different time and you don't want to disturb them getting into bed. Our old mattress was horrific for that, especially if I had like a cup of coffee in my hand in the morning and Alex would jump into bed and I'd be like ah like the coffee would spill like this mattress is just so much there's so much less movement on the other side of the bed it's amazing it features a washable removable outer cover as well in case you do have any spills or anything the Lux mattresses also come with a 15 year warranty which I think is just such a generous warranty period currently in New Zealand there's actually no standards regarding like safety of the materials used in mattresses, which is quite shocking. But Winkle mattresses are all made using materials that are certified safe, including an Ecotex standard 100 safety rating. So as I say, we've been sleeping on this mattress now for six weeks and Honestly, even the first night was so noticeably different to our old mattress, which was very much in need of a replacement. And this is just such an upgrade. <laughs> it's even better than the mattress we had in Australia when we were living there. So it just feels like an absolute dream to sleep on. What I love is that it has a softness to it where it cushions your joints and such. Like sometimes I find beds too hard on my hip, but I find that it feels like it's really soft, but it's also not so 
soft that your like body kind of gets really sore and achy in the morning. It's like supportive yet cushiony. So that's something that was really important for me and I'm really enjoying sleeping on it. I've just noticed that I'm just so much more well rested because I'm sleeping really well through the night. So I'm extremely thrilled. Alex loves it as well. He's really into the no partner disturbance <laughs> element of it because sometimes I come to bed a bit later than him and so he doesn't like getting woken up when I jump into bed and this really helps with that. And then on the flip side, I really appreciate not getting woken up in the morning when he has to get up really early for teaching. So I really love that aspect of it. Something I will just point out, um, they have a standard sized mattress which is a little bit shallower. It's more sort of the depth of like a traditional mattress, but this is the Lux edition, so it's a little bit deeper. So we did have to buy some extra deep queen sheets. It's just something to be aware of. Our old sheets, they did fit, but only like just. I like sheets to fit super, super well, like really get under the mattress. So we invested in some extra deep sheets. They are really nice sheets. Like they're like 1200 thread count and we got them on a, an extremely good sale. So that was just something I thought was important to point out. If you don't want to replace all of your bedding, um, then maybe go for the standard size. And if you don't mind investing in, you know, deeper sheets, or perhaps you already have those from another current mattress, then the Lux one is definitely worth the extra investment. It's just super, super plush. But thank you so much, Winkle, for sponsoring a portion of today's video and for providing us with this mattress. We love it. And if you are a Kiwi looking to invest in a mattress for yourself, I will have a coupon code for you to use that will get you some money off your next purchase from Winkle. But now it is time for me to do my laundry and put these sheets in the wash while it's such a nice day. I absolutely hate letting my hair air dry in winter. It's just so cold. <laughs> it takes ages to dry. And I don't really want to put the fire on because I'm gonna only be here for about two more hours or so and then I'm heading out. For any of my eagle-eyed viewers though, you'll notice that our mattress is not the only new thing around here. We got a new coffee pot. But basically the espresso machine that we got when we moved here was the Kmart espresso machine. It had really good reviews and it did make a really good cup of coffee for an at-home machine for $99, but it packed a sad about eight months after we bought it, which was actually within warranty, so that's good. So I took it back and they gave me a refund and we decided to invest in a bit more of an investment coffee machine. Um, and we went back to the kind of American filter style drip coffee machine because we just find them a little bit easier for our lifestyle. Like as nice as it is to make a cappuccino or whatever at home. It is just a bit more of a faff. This is like our old machine that we had in Australia where you could just set it to a timer and it will go off in the morning, it's already brewed. It actually is going to live in our bedroom. <laughs> That's been my dream is to have a, like basically a coffee alarm clock. So we're gonna set it up in our bedroom, but we've actually got friends coming to visit next week from tomorrow. So I was like, let's just set it up in the kitchen. They can use it then as well and then once they're gone, I'll move it through into the bedroom or maybe even the office. I did also want to mention that I'm going to be taking a little bit of YouTube annual leave. It's something I did last year, I took a month off around this time of year in July and it was so good. It was so good for my mental health. It was so good for my creativity when I came back from my annual leave and just give me a bit of space and time to rejuvenate. I mean, I think vacations from work are really important and I don't think YouTubers do it enough and creators often feel pressure to always be putting up content and if you are gonna take a holiday, then you should pre-film before you go away sort of thing, but I just need an actual break <laughs> because this, the last couple of months have been absolutely mad with just back-to-back -back trials for jobs and auditions and on top of that a lot of sponsored content as well which always takes a lot longer to kind of put into your videos which I'm very grateful for it's been really awesome to have so many companies like wanting to work with me lately so I'm gonna take a month off I know that some of you that will be really hard but I suggest go back and watch some of my videos my past videos if you've missed some there's been a few videos lately that you know you might have missed if YouTube hasn't been putting them into your subscription box. But I think it's really important to be really open about needing time off and hopefully it'll encourage other creatives to take some time off as well and that it's completely valid. It's just gonna allow me to rejuvenate my creativity and also like spend some time with friends and family. Like as I say, I've got friends coming over from Melbourne tomorrow. The bubble reopens tomorrow because there were some outbreaks in Australia 
there are outbreaks in Australia right now, but Melbourne itself, like the, the state, is currently COVID free. We've been watching the news and just like the updates for weeks, just very stressed <laughs> because our friends literally like booked their flights over to come visit and have a holiday here and then like the outbreak started and it was just mad. Thankfully the Victoria to New Zealand bubble is reopening tomorrow. So I'm gonna get to see some friends that I haven't seen for like eight months and give them giant squeeze hugs and I'm just really really excited. And then the week after Alex and I are going on our winter trip down to Tekapo and Wanaka and Queenstown which we're really excited about and we will be vlogging the trip so I I guess I'm still kind of working through it, but I'm just not having to like edit and upload videos during that period. But that'll probably be the first video that I put up coming back from my break. Honestly, the editing is the hardest part, just finding the time to sit down and edit, especially vlogs. They take a long time, so filming a vlog is not so bad. Everything does take a little bit longer when you're vlogging, um, so you can't quite fit as much in, but it is the editing that I'm just finding a little bit harder to fit in at the moment. So I need a little break need a little chance to rejuvenate some creative juices <laughs> but I've been kind of like mulling over ideas of what I'm going to do when I come back and I'm very excited we'll be moving out of this place as well so you'll get to follow the journey of where we go next we're still trying to finalize what's going to happen <laughs> all very up in the air at this point we will be staying in Christchurch we're not moving back to Melbourne or anything or to a different part of New Zealand we're, we're here in Christchurch but where we move in Christchurch and under what kind of capacity is still being decided hopefully that will be sorted by the time i get back from my break but i just wanted to let you guys know here in this video that is why there's going to be no more videos from me for a few weeks but i think looking at my schedule i'll probably have a video up on the 9th of august that's when i hope to come back so you can put that in your diaries if you're a super avid watcher but i need to eat something because it is 11 o'clock and i've only had coffee and i really need some food so i'm gonna make some i might just have yogurt and cereal because i might have some soup before i go to rehearsal in like two hours time also last night i baked some chocolate and banana muffins mm, they are calling my name i might take one along to rehearsal as a little snack so we've got two three hour calls today um, so the first one is like 1.30 till 4.30 um, and then the next one starts at 6.30 till 9.30 so a long late night but I'll definitely come home in between and have dinner with Alex like a really early dinner <laughs> Yogurt just does not compare to Zany Zeus Greek yogurt. I didn't have time to go to Pico Whole Foods, which is the only place in Christchurch that stocks Zany Zeus yogurt. Um, so I just grabbed this while I was at the supermarket and it's just, supermarket yogurt is just really average. Washing's on the line, hopefully it dries. If it doesn't quite dry fully by the time the sun goes, we can put the last of it in the dryer, but I generally prefer to dry my sheets on the line if I can, because they dry a bit flatter, <laughs> and I don't like ironing my sheets. So I'm just gonna heat up a little bit of soup for lunch. Fun fact, we actually don't have a microwave. <laughs> We just never bothered to buy one when we moved in. There wasn't one here at the house, so we just decided that it was a cost that we didn't really need to spend. Like, we might eventually get one, um, but so far we're making do with just reheating things the old-fashioned way in a pot on the stove. For lunch, nice cozy bowl of soup, because it's actually really cold outside despite being so gorgeously sunny. So I'm just gonna munch this down and then I'll be able to go off to rehearsal. I usually would walk on a day like this, like if it was this gorgeous, um, I'd love to walk to work, but I only have two hours in between the two rehearsals, so I really wanna whip home and have as much time here as possible in between, so I think I'll drive just so that it's a bit quicker. Alrighty, so I'm home from the tech rehearsal. I have about an hour and a half until I have to leave again. We did about an hour of like corrections and then we ran the first act and I think, well first and second act, but they make up the first half of the opera. And then this evening we're meeting back at 6.30 and we're only running the second half, so I suspect we're going to finish early. We're booked for three hours, but I think we'll be finished within an hour and a half, maybe two most. 
So that's good. So I'll get home and be able to have an early night here and get some things done. Alex's bags are here, but he is not. So I suspect he's gone off to the gym for a climb. I don't blame him. I would have liked to have gone today as well, but too much to do. Further evidence of Mr. Morton's return. <laughs> a missing muffin. Sheets are dry, so let's make the bed. If only it was that easy in real life. <laughs> Finishing touch. So lovely. I love this bedroom. It's so cozy. Nice to see you again. It's good to see you. How was Auckland? Good. Yeah, good show. Great show. It was a bit, um, got a bit choked up. Why? Because it was, uh, right of spring yeah. with a top notch band and a top notch hall. It just felt really good. And then the lights went down and we all stood up when the conductor came on, just like, this is cool. It's good to see you. I match the couch. You do match the couch. What's the plan for tonight? You got work? So we go back to work at 6 30. Yeah. So I'll leave in like an hour. So let's have some dinner, leftover risotto from last night. I made an everything that is going bad in our fridge risotto. Just leftover vegetables and then made it into a risotto. It's alright. Not as good as my beetroot risotto or the pumpkin risotto, but still yum. <laughs> Home from rehearsal. It did finish early, which is awesome, but it is just such a great opera. Marriage of Figaro is what we've been playing. And dress rehearsal's on Tuesday. Concert is on Thursday, Saturday, and Tuesday next week. And in terms of how I feel like I'm doing in my trial, I think it's going well. Like it's hard to know. It's really hard to know actually. And it's something I've had a lot of anxiety for like weeks just around the fact that you kind of don't, like you just have to be yourself. You just have to go in there and show them what you have and hope they like it because you don't want to present a style of playing or that isn't you or isn't how you'd actually do the job. Because what if they don't like that and then you haven't put yourself forward as who you are? So it's hard. But it's easy to overthink every little thing like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be very happy when the actual trial period's over, although I'm also loving it. I, I love leadership and I love sitting in a leadership role and I really, really just feel like I belong there. But as I say, we'll see. See what they were looking for, but I could see myself very, very, very happy in that role. So do you want um, some butter with your muffin or some muffin with your butter? Mm. Yes. We ate dinner so early, like five o'clock, that I'm actually quite hungry now. So we're having a little late night snack. And then immediately go to bed. Um, oh, I'm just so excited for my friends to arrive tomorrow. <laughs> just gonna give them the biggest squeeze hug ever. Ooh.